So this is going to be a follow-up to my last video where I reviewed and unboxed the, this uh, portable DVD writer, uh, external DVD drive from LG. Um, but in the last video I showed you how it is compatible with this kind of uh, mini DVD discs. These are the DVD discs, the smaller kind that I use with this kind of uh, mini DVD camcorders from back in the early 2000s. And uh, in this video, I just wanted to, to do a quick follow-up to show you how to transfer the videos from your disk that you took uh, using your camcorder into your computer. So in here, I'll be showing you how to do it on my MacBook Pro and also using this um, slim portable DVD writer. This is one of the few drives, external drives that I've seen in the market that actually is compatible with mini DVD drives. That's what I'm using, uh, why I'm using this one. So I have it connected to my computer. And again, make sure that you have a good quality uh, adapter in case you your computer uses um, USB-C connection. Uh, otherwise, it's just gonna be a little bit slower. Um, but anyways, we'll go ahead and try it out. And we'll put in the mini DVD disc inside. And uh, your computer should read it once it's in the, in the drive. And um, it should give you like an, a notification here, a notification window in your desk and your desktop telling you that it has read that mini DVD. Not only that, but it also tells you that it is a mini DVD in the drive. And I'm gonna go ahead and ignore this notification because for this uh, test or this transfer, I'm gonna use um, a different, an external or a third party software which I'll show you later. And, and here you see the, the icon with your disk. You can also open it. And if you open this folder, you'll see different video files. And uh, these are the video files that you have taken using, using your, your camcorder. So now you cannot use these files by themselves like they are right now. You're gonna have to transfer them, again, using a different type of software. And the software that I use is a software co uh, called Handbrake, which is a type of software that you can download for free. And I'll put a link in the description to uh, the, um, the website where you can download Handbrake to any kind of computer. You can also do it in Windows and Linux. All right, so now I'm in my computer and I have opened uh, the program Handbrake. And as I said before, I'm gonna put a link in the description in case you need to download this one from the web. Uh, it is for free and it is available for most of the operating systems out there. And I also have my mini DVD uh, with my footage uh, in the LG DVD drive. So what you'll do is in Handbrake, you'll click on open source and then you'll click on your DVD uh, on your locations and then double click on the video folder, which is where you'll find all your, your files from the DVD and you don't have to select on anything, just click on open. And it is gonna give you a notification window saying, uh, essentially telling you not to copy any kind of copyrighted material. Uh, but in this case, I'm using a DVD with footage that I've taken myself, so it is not copyright protected. So I'll just go ahead and click on attempt scan anyways. And it's gonna take some time to build previews and to scan and to see how many videos you have in your DVD. And uh, at the end of, uh, when it finishes processing, it's gonna tell you how many videos there are available. Uh, so th there it is, um, it identified 32 videos, as you can see there. So it's gonna split them into a single file of uh, 32 chapters, is what it's calling, it. it's calling it here in the handbrake. So you can select how many of those videos you want to, to transfer, to export into your computer. So in case you don't wanna, export all of them, you can select uh, a different number of videos. But in this case, I'm gonna to try to export everything from one to 32. So another thing that you can do is that, uh, of course it gives you the, uh, like a preview of all the videos that are in your DVD. Um, but um, the default is that it's gonna export it as an MP4 file, single, single MP4 file. You can also change it to, MNK, to an MKV file or a WebM file. For this test, I'm just gonna do MP4, which is a pretty good standard. And another default is that it, uh, it's gonna save it as a 1080p 30 kind of video. But since this is a very low resolution type of video, I'm just gonna change it using the presets 
into a 480p 30 because it doesn't really make any sense to re to export a low resolution video which is in standard definition into 1080p or even 720p so i'll just do the 480p here according to this standard preset and um, yeah it's going to change it here to 480p the next thing that I'll, that I'll do is I'll change the title of the or the name of the file. I'm going to change it into just uh, test footage. And it is set up to save it into my desktop. Now there's other settings that you can change here. You can change the dimensions, you can add filters, you can change a lot of more um, uh, complicated settings here in the in the different options. You can even add subtitles in case you have any, but uh, for just this test and something that you that I'm just going to export from the DVD, I'm just going to leave everything as default. So again, it's going to save it as a single MP4 file. Once you have everything selected, you can go ahead and click on start. And it is going to take some time to process and to convert the DVD videos into an MP4 file. And once the encoding finishes, uh, it will save your MP4 file or your M4V file into your desktop or wherever you specified it in. And uh, you can really use this to, to, uh, to, to share into YouTube or to edit to uh, iMovie, to edit your videos and to do whatever. Or you can just play it using QuickTime. And there it is, my test footage from my... Uh, from my DVD recorder or from my DVD camcorder. Into a single MP4 file, which again, you can use it to uh, for any kind of applications really. And there it is. That's how I export or transfer my videos from my D mini DVD camcorder into my computer. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or any uh, any issues doing that kind of process. It should be pretty st straightforward as long as you have the right tools for it, like the um, handbrake tool or handbrake program, as well as the uh, uh, DVD drive that uh, accepts mini DVDs. Again, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.